I actually think that this year's GI ASCO has so much important data coming out and it's probably one of the most exciting meetings I've seen in some time. I think there are some pivotal trials that we have been waiting on readouts from. Uh, of course, first is the, the POLO study, the uh, elaborate maintenance in BRCA mutated metastatic pancreas cancer. The final overall survival data will be read out at GI ASCO. And a lot of us who uh, see these patients have been waiting to see what the true survival benefit may be for maintenance therapy. Uh, additionally, I'm excited to see the final data from Clarity. Clarity was the randomized phase three study looking at uh, ivacitinib an oral IDH1 inhibitor in IDH mutated cholangiocarcinoma. And while we've seen the initial data with the primary endpoint readout of progression-free survival and found it to be a strikingly positive study, the overall survival data I think is what everyone has been waiting on, especially to see if this will lead to FDA approval. Now, this study has crossover in it, so the overall survival data is, is somewhat marred by the fact that patients on the placebo arm crossed over and received ivacitinib. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what the numerical numbers are as well as what, uh, what the clinically meaningful difference may be. Uh, the other study that I'm really excited to see read out is the Alliance study that looked at borderline resectable pancreas cancer and compared fulfirinox alone to fulfirinox followed by stereotactic body radiation therapy. Uh, this study, we knew for some time that the stereotactic body radiation therapy arm had, had closed for futility, but we didn't really know what that means. Uh, and so I think it'll be important to see that data and for us to really understand what we've learned from it. Is there a role for radiation? Does it still not answer the question? And is, are there more questions to be answered based on what the data tells us? Those are some of the most exciting to me, at least in the pancreatic or biliary space. I think there's a lot of other really provocative uh, early phase trials that are being presented as well, looking at um, early drug development, specifically in pancreas cancer, biliary cancer, and hepatocellular carcinoma. Uh, so I think overall, it's a pretty exciting uh, meeting for patients, for people who treat uh, HPV diseases. I think it's a keynote or like a big topic is about co the COVID and the impact of COVID yep. on the treatment and, ha and management of our GI cancer patients. And I, I think that's going to be a really important session uh, because for those of us that are in clinical research and are in the clinic and have been, you know, facing patients uh, and dealing with this pandemic head on for almost a year now, uh, the impact has been significant and severe. And I think, uh, that is gonna be a really informative and important session, especially as we try to figure out how to continue moving GI cancer research forward in the midst of what is an ongoing global pandemic.